Can you come out? Uh, yeah. Give me a minute. <sighs> Mom, I'm gay. I know that, silly. Come out to the car. <sighs> car, I'm gay. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> What's up, my beardos and weirdos? One topic here. And today we're diving into r slash suddenly gay. <laughs> it is one of my favorite subreddits ever, and I really hope you like it too. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Russians be like... No homo. But Russian monuments be like, Da, comrade. <laughs> Hold my head. <laughs> you shall be a cold winter. In Russia, only our body heats can keep us warm. Come with me. <laughs> 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 Young men's bottoms. Oh, oh. This is why an apostrophe is so important. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> me checking if dinner is ready yet. Ah, oh, you always want to see if those buns are rising in the oven, you know, when you're making Ooh! <laughs> the devil whispered, I'm coming for you. And I whispered back, that's gay. <laughs> demonic noises, demonic noises, demonic noises. I have a crucifix hanging from my sword. <laughs> Pure Batom. Pure Batom. From Nevada. Pure Batom. Who per per bottom per power 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 bottom? Oh, it's a po oh. <laughs> creating your own guy character in a game is technically gay, as you're creating your dream guy. I mean, that's an interesting way of looking at it. I'd be thinking of it as creating my dream self, because if I could be a gigantic space marine, I absolutely would. It's not like the guy I want to be with, just the guy I want to be inside of, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hmm. Friends can be made anywhere. There was a guy doing the airplane with his daughter on the beach, and my dad asked if he could join. <laughs> For anyone who's wondering, this appears to be acro yoga. And if you've never tried this, it is amazing. See if they have an acro yoga class near you. It is amazing for dates. <laughs> Yeah, there's one topic's recommendation for what type of yoga class to take. Acro yoga. It's fun. Give me all your money! I, I don't have any money. I'm in debt. Well, give me all your debt. Uh, okay. Now, go home and get your life together. <laughs> that reminds me of a little Jesus taking on everyone's sins. Kyle from South Park. <laughs> You are under arrest! This is WikiHow on how to arrest someone who's a little bit too excited! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here for the rest of you. One, two, three, eight of you later! <laughs> the virus explained in gay terms. You and ten friends are in your apartment getting ready for the pride parade. One has glitter. How many end up? How many end up? How many end up with glitter on them? I hate this so much. <laughs> Everyone gets glitter on. Every time I go to Pride, I'm not even wearing glitter. I'm not standing near anyone with glitter. I always leave with glitter. How does it happen? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me! <laughs> the greatest creature all men feared became one man's obsession. My di- Oh, hang on, that's mo- that <laughs> There are no accidents. Master Zero Zero Gawai. <laughs> what does PewDiePie say? Massive pee pee! <laughs> boomers! Kids these days dress so weird. <laughs> also boomers in the 70s. Oh, but you don't understand, okay? We're dressing this way to pick up ladies. <laughs> yes, we're wearing space blankets to pick up ladies. <laughs> Can we recognize for a moment that there's a whole bucket of dry ice next to them in one of the pictures and in the other one, phoom, just a snowball? <laughs> Who decapitated a snowman and thought, oh yeah, this would make a good picture moment? <laughs> Did you know there is a breed of black chicken that lay black eggs? Don't believe me? Just Google black, big black roosters. Oh. R no. Mm. We did, mm. Well. Okay. All right, hang on. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Dang it. I mean, who couldn't see that coming, but dang it. <laughs> hey, you were the first gay couple I've met around here. Haha, <laughs> we're not gay. It is quite common among dwarf women to have beards, too. Wow, I didn't know that. So so which one of you is the female dwarf? She. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it gets dark in those caves, okay? They're digging for gold and stuff, and then they just, you know, they've got poor eyesight because they're constantly in the darkness. Human one, what do dwarves do? 
They just mine, right? Okay, cool. All right, next human one. <laughs> diggy diggy hole. Yeah, I like that song. Thanks, human one. Why can't a man lean in? <laughs> when a man leans into his girl, he reveals that he feels needy and lower value. He reveals that he has a weak mindset and uh, look at this picture to demonstrate my point. Uh. Fellas, is it gay to stand at an 89 degree angle? <laughs> I stand like this a lot with human one because she is literally a foot shorter than I am. <laughs> and if I didn't do this, we wouldn't both be in frame for the picture. It'd be very awkward to take pictures of both of us. So yeah, this is silly. <laughs> hey Matt, do you know how to bolt a bookshelf to a wall? <laughs> I mean, sure. I have no idea how to find a stud, lol. Look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob. That is that character's name, SpongeBob. <laughs> He's my stepdad. Why do I feel like the Oh, YouTube. YouTube. There is nothing taboo in this game. Tabau. Tabau stories. <sighs> they couldn't call it taboo in the name or else YouTube would tag that. <laughs> Watch them tag this video because I've got this advertisement in there. Would you be willing to shout what turns you on in public for one million dollars? Girls. No, I would never. Boys, Kenobi, Kenobi! I don't understand the meme, but sure, he's a handsome lad, why not? Ewan McGregor, he's pretty cool. <laughs> Say goodbye to your bow. No way. No, they use this in their actual marketing. <laughs> Come on, this can't be real. No way, no. Hey, Eugene, do you shower after adult fun time? Well, yes, Jack, I do. Great! Can you please get laid more often? <laughs> well, why doesn't Jack volunteer to help? Oh, he's cracked the code! <laughs> They've cracked the code? <laughs> Fact! Dolphins have bromances in which two males pair up for as long as 15 years and help each other hook up with females. Ah, yes. That's what they do. Help each other hook up with the females. After connecting with one another for 15 years on their own, yes. Bromances, yes. Mm. <laughs> my first time, the balls felt weird in my mouth. What? The, <laughs> the fir my first time, my first cha time. Human one, is uh, cha time bubble tea? Yes, it is. Ah, it's bubble tea. Okay, I should have known that. <laughs> Did you know Kansas City welcomes 25 million visitors annually? <laughs> and the lockdown. <laughs> um, <laughs> annually. Annually. I want to think that this is not a mistake, that someone meant this in the advertising department. <laughs> the Department of Tourism. <laughs> what is your pleasure? What do you like to do? Oh, I don't know. Play chess? Screw. Well, let's play chess. <laughs> Blazing Saddles? Amazing. God, it's been so long since I watched that movie. I thought it was a new movie when I was a kid. My father was showing that to me right after Young Frankenstein. And then I had the displeasure of realizing, oh no, it's a very old film and these guys are old. <laughs> Excuse me, madame. <laughs> Do you sell condoms in XXL? <laughs> the size. Well, yes, sir. We sell that size. <laughs> mm. uh, do you mind if I wait here to see who buys them? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Someone made little bear cookies. I like how they're extra bronzed in specific areas. <laughs> Cooked well done. Are they holding like little... There's some kind of nuts. I mean, they must be healthy, right? Nuts are healthy to eat. When the bear's got your nut. <laughs> hmm. When you and your girl are doing Star Wars roleplay and she comes out dressed as Leia. I was hoping for Kenobi. Why are you here? <laughs> Justin Beaver, who Justice Beaver? Ah! Unironically making an amazing reference. Human one, do you remember Justice Beaver? From The Office? Yes! <laughs> Justin Beaver over- Oh my god, I did it twice! Okay. Justin Bieber over here- Oh, I nailed it! Oh, and then I screwed it up by saying that I nailed it. Okay. Justin Beaver- oh. Justin Bieber over here looking like Joe Exotic's next husband. <laughs> oh, I can see him rocking some tattoos saying owned by Joe- Maybe that's what it says right above his eagle belly button Calvin Klein something. I don't know. He's a weird dude. <laughs> oh, Justin Bieber. Oh, I almost screwed it up. <laughs> you know I always- have your back, Dave. <laughs> I'm always right behind you. 
because your booty is so beautiful. <laughs> Anything you can do out of a suit, you can now do in a suit. Uh, whoa! Oh god, I haven't been able to do that since I was a kid. Holy dang. Cricketeer has come out. Oh, come on. With a line of 100% polyester. Almost as much freedom as a birthday suit? Come on. <laughs> like the birthday suit, they, st they stretch, twist, bend, and a wrinkle resist. Come on. There's no way so <laughs> There's no way this went through the advertising department, the censorship department, and no one caught on to this. We've got some secret agents in those teams. <laughs> That's amazing. Stomp my flag. I'll eat your butt. Oh, no. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if with his tack kilt, his tactical kilt. Oh no! <laughs> Sir, you're not socially distancing. Please move six inches. I'll give you six inches right here. Hmm. Suck it to ya. <laughs> uh, wait. <laughs> wait a minute, Ben Shapiro. What six inches are you providing? <laughs> Aw, look at the little dudes. Oh, they're like the little little glow stick men. They're like dancing. Oh, that's so cute. What's uh? Okay, they're rocking it. Oh, oh, oh no, you broke. Oh no, oh, oh no, oh no, <laughs> he's, he's watching it wiggle in front of him. Oh no, he's slapping his friend with it. Oh no! <laughs> no, it's autoplay. Vodka tonic. Hold the vodka, hold the tonic, and hold my hand. <laughs> That's a little sweet. I kind of like that. Sometimes you just need someone to be there for you. Sometimes the people are just lonely. That's kind of sweet. This is how I knew. Miss her. Oh, you knew what? <laughs> okay, I'm clearly gonna miss this one. Can someone just, I don't know, add in the comments what I'm missing here? I think that's in a pool, right? Yeah, it's like a water jet in a pool. I, I don't know. You miss bubble baths or hot tubs or s swimming? <laughs> Anyone? Someone? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Guy. Are you sure I have to be naked? <laughs> Scientist. Visibly excited. <laughs> just take your clothes off and get on the bike. Respiratory response to exercise. <laughs> no, you could have been clothed. <laughs> no. <laughs> I must see how you sweat. <laughs> For science! <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal worked Tom Holland over so hard he couldn't walk. Oh. I didn't know they went to the gym together. That's kind of cute. Haven't they been affectionate in public? That's... <laughs> Good for them. Top or bottom? That's a bit presumptive blanket sheets. <laughs> a little forward if you ask me. <laughs> 1968. <laughs> 2018. Oh no! Tattoos! <laughs> Lol. Like, this is actually cute. Backfire. They're boyfriends. Yeah, he's worried his punk butt boyfriend forgot to apply sunscreen again. He even picked out swim trunks to match his boyfriend's tattoos. It's adorable. Checkmate, boomers! We made it gay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, rendering the power of the boomers powerless! <laughs> so, how oh, to beat the draft. Oh, yeah! Yeah, okay. I mean, that was a thing. Oh, America. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> how do you spend quarantine? Mostly been playing Anal Crossing. How about you? <gasps> anal? No, not Anal! Animal Crossing! What the heck, phone? <laughs> Aw. <laughs> a Freudian slip. <laughs> if a man wore pants, would he wear them like this? Or like this? <laughs> Aw, that's kind of cute. <laughs> that's silly. It reminds me of the Earth. If the Earth wore pants, would it wear like this? Or like this? Or if a dog wore pants, would it wear like this? Or like this? <laughs> Come on. No homo. Oh, aw, look at you. <laughs> Why not? I don't actually know what Seth Everman sounds like. I only know the him dressing up like Billie Eilish and playing the piano. <laughs> this guy asked for the gayest cake ever and the bakery delivered. Oh, it's a unicorn. Oh, look. Love is love, gay, strong, bi. Oh, inclusive, lesbians. Oh, oh. Okay, I would love to have this as a birthday cake. That looks amazing. <laughs> Why don't you plant some lavender? And when it blooms, you can squeeze a leaf or two between your fingers and the smell will calm you down. How about you do that, bitch? Ah, good idea. <laughs> Thank you. I have a lot of other good ideas as well. Uh, such as? <laughs> have gay adult fun time. <laughs> Top of the morning to you! <laughs> the morning has real top energy. <laughs> While well, I have real bottom energy. Oh, hey, Rumi. Oh, Rumi's a YouTuber from Sweden. Oh, I saw a video him and Felix did together. That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, they're friends. That's nice. 
Oh, yeah, when you, like, don't have quite enough lift to get all the way to the back of the car and you're just going to slide off the front of your car so your buddy has to come behind and hold you up. Ah, oh, that's so nice. It's so good of you to have a friend like that. And, you know, this looks like it's outside of an apartment complex, so maybe you guys live together. Maybe they're roommates. Aw. <laughs> just dudes being roommates. <laughs> Apparently, I outed myself while playing CSGO today. Okay. One fancy boy. If you kill me, you are gay. <laughs> Stifu, I'm I'm not taking the gay stairs. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I probably would use both staircases. I just oh shoot, I wouldn't want the message that comes along with it. But that looks great workouts on your quads, on your buttoxes, for your calves. Oh, that could be really good. I mean, you know, the smaller stairs, I guess you could just take a bunch of them at a time. But <laughs> oh, the decisions. <laughs> it's not a party until the wieners come out. <laughs> oh, you could say it's a real. Sausage party. Woo! <laughs> there is only one person registered as a rectical teaching assistant in the UK, traveling the country and offering his anas to be examined by trainee doctors. He has since lost his job to a robot anas. Aww, poor guy. Aww. <laughs> now his buns have to hit the street so he can find new employment. <laughs> hey, beauty. <laughs> How are you? She's in the bathroom. This is her boyfriend. What did you want? Hey, handsome, how are you? <laughs> I'm gonna do what's called a pro-bisexual move. <laughs> Kinda attractive how you put those cuffs on me. <laughs> Will I need a safe word? <laughs> the heck is wrong with you? I'm a cop. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm playing both sides so that I will always come out on top. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Trying to run with a banana. Oh, no. Oh, 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 not spaghetti. The hard D, the hard D boys. <laughs> Not the hardy boys. Oh, okay, I get it. I, mm, okay. <laughs> Me, staring randomly, pretending I can see a ghost. The ghost wondering why I can see it. <laughs> hey, so, we've been co-workers for a while now, and I was just thinking, maybe we could take this to the next level. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm so nervous, you, you don't mean... Like, hang out outside of work? Yeah, it's okay. I'm nervous for our first time, too. I, I think I could be ready for that. Oh, yeah, cool. Just uh, hit me up later then. Uh, work, but I mean, uh, regular buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, sounds good. I just got to delete the from work part on my phone. <laughs> Congratulations, your work friend evolved into a regular friend. <laughs> that is a hard step to take. That is really tough when you have to spend all day with them every day. I hope they're going to be a real good friend. <laughs> all right, my beardos and weirdos. That was another dive into r slash suddenly gay. <laughs> I love that subreddit. Ooh, keep an eye out on Sad Milk for an announcement that's coming up pretty soon. It's going to be exciting. And also, thank you for subscribing to the Ship Podcast lately. That's been really sweet. I've loved how many people have come over there. We've got like 20,000 people on the Ship Podcast now. That's insane. <laughs> All right, my beers and weirdos. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see done next, and we'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro! Seriously, again, recording these at 2 a.m. I can't keep doing this. <laughs> I'm going to wake people up.